Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we magnify your name this precious evening. And we ask you, Lord, touch our hearts today, Lord. Lord, this be not me, but you. You are, use our voices to be the living, fresh water. To clean all the water of Mara, bitterness, sadness, depression, loneliness, guilt. This water be clean yes. by your precious word of God. And Lord, I am your vessel, instrument, your pipe of this living water. Use me to be the testimony of your kingdom today and forever. Lord, today this word is be the touch our hearts and bring us refreshness and guidance and a new perspective of understanding who really you are. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Savior and Redeemer Jesus Christ. Yes and Amen. Yes. And Lord, we bless today the seeds. We bless the, all the seeds what people give really from the bottom of the heart, Lord. Lord, this is not pleasing people, but pleasing you. Yes. Use this offering and tithes. This be really blessing in the house of the Lord. Amen. There be continued provision for light, provision for the rent, Amen. and provision for sustainers for our house of the Lord. Amen. And Lord, I believe everyone who give really from the loyal and faithful and obedient heart, you are release supernatural, miraculous blessing. And blessing come with protection. And blessing come with financial breakthrough. And blessing come with health. And you are sustainer and blessed God. In Jesus Christ's name. We magnify your name, the King of glory. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, brethren. You know, in this period of time, Many people in sadness. You know, and you see the news this early morning, they say it's becoming catastrophic situation in Afghanistan. United States Army go out from Afghanistan and Taliban terrorists take over now. And, it's, and they are on the way a few kilometers to Kabul, the capital. That's meaning 10 years Russia fighting there. No success. 10 years exactly United States fight. No success. Now that they step down, it's so many people died. And they say in the news, many, many women rape sexually. And children take to slavery. God merciful. The same situation catastrophic in Yemen. And there's something going on all around the Middle East. But in other way, the Greece and many European countries and Turkey was on fire. Now opposite. One week later, Israel sending the airplanes to help to Greece, to help to Spain, and to help to Turkey. And now the flooding takes place. City by city, village by village. And you know, when you see the situation, what's going on all around the world, brethren, it's not like four or five years ago, we hear some problems, but now everywhere something shaking. You know, we need to be aware in the spirit. We're living in the end times. We not need to be scary and afraid. We must to be prepared the way for his return. Yeah. Jesus on the way. And he said, I come, not come to with nice, lovely way. I come to judge the church. I come to shake the body of Christ. Today be a wake up from sleepiness and from depression, misunderstanding, gossiping, division, disunity, and fruitful, fruitlessness. You know, that's why today is the message. And we really want to have the breakthrough in our daily life. We must understand that God is speaking to us through the book of Samuel. 
Samuel, uh, 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 20. It's a powerful verse for all week for us. 2 Samuel 22, 20. He also brought me out to an open place. You see, he said, he brought us to the open place. He rescued us because he delighted in us. Are you with me now? He rescued me and you because he delighted in me and you. Amen. Delight meaning he is coming with a shiny, bright light where there's nothing to hide anymore. You know, sometimes we're living in that, we're hiding things. You think God don't see? He see clear. Secrets and hiding things, He knows. Sometimes we're not open to everyone, but I know it's maybe time to you find the secret place. You'll be find some quiet place. And we call this secret room. And spend time with Him. Amen. To open your heart. To release, to release everything. Amen. We do not, we do not work for God. We work with God. Some, sometimes people say, "I work only for God." My ministry is for God. I am used for God. And God said, "We work with God together." Because if you not work with God, it's not work. It's a, it's a everything religious act, selfish way. We're depending upon Savior Jesus Christ. You can have complete security in Jesus Christ. Amen. When He is your rock, this rock is meaning protector. Rock is meaning you're standing. You are not shake, you're unshakable, unmovable. Sometimes in you in good place, you are standing strong. The wind come, not blowing you. You're not standing in the sand when you slowly, the, the water come and wiping you quick. But you're standing on the rock. And rock is our Savior. Amen. Jesus Christ in Hebrew, Yeshua, the Messiah. Amen. Amen. He is our rock. We depend on Him. Amen. Amen. That's what God said. The complete security in Him. Amen. Amen. And God said this to us today. Why we are debating, argue, explaining with people who have no fruits. Sometimes the people sending to me anti-vaccination. This morning I said, Sis, sister, please don't send me anymore. Maybe you don't know I'll be going tomorrow. Third one receive. You know, we have the power of prayer. People who are not vaccinated, one by one affected now. And this is what break my heart. Some close friends, they are in temperature 42, three days already. God mercy. Don't be us so in media checking. People who not have the fruits, keep distance from them. Protect your energy. Protect your heart. Guard your heart. Amen. Redeem your time. Amen. Don't spend time with people who is stupid, confusing you. And, and uh, not give you encouragement. And put you in scaredness and fear and disappointed. I don't want to be with these kind of people. Don't let anybody speak something to you that's different than what God is saying to you. Let your heart... Be always tuned like guitar Amen. to God and His word, His word of the living. Because in Hebrew says, Sefer Chaim Ve'emet. This meaning the living word and truth. In the book of Daniel, chapter 2, 21 says, It, he, it is He who changed the times. And the seasons. He removed the kings. And established the kings. He gave wisdom to the wise. 
and greater knowledge to those who have understanding. Everything can change in an instant. Be ready. Because he is totally in control of your times. Amen. He put position the people now in the government of Israel in the shaking times. Shaking time. You know, when you see in the TV what's going on, it's like circus. You know, they argue, they shouting, they screaming to each other. You know, where is the no unity? This is what happened. I don't want this to happen in the body of Christ. But this is the devil want to bring this unity and struggles in confusion in Christianity. How will we prepare the way for his return? How will we be the bear the fruits and be the blessing to others? Sister Ress put the picture with the uh, figs. And I like this so much and because then I go to buy immediately. And officially I only me eat only Pastor Vera and maybe eat only one. I finish all the bucks. I say, oh, that's so juicy, so beautiful. And I start to preparing the message. First I asked Pastor Ariza, and she ready for the message. She said, I'll be saying to you what time I'm ready. I said, okay now, <laughs> okay. And I, I pray, Lord, give me the message for the fruit of the fig tree. Amen. Fruit without frustration. Amen. Fruitlessness. In Hebrew say, Hoser Pirot. Hoser is mean Haser. Not enough. You know, we don't have enough, the fruits. Walan Prutas in Tagalog. Not frutas, prutas. Yeah? You understand me? Walang. <laughs> not have frutas. Not have fruits. Season of increase bring always test time. When there's increase coming, test, test time coming. When you in warfare, watch will show up and the party. Mm. Are you with me now? Amen. Note that once who put their mouth on you, attack you, even abandon you, criticize you, dismiss, and speaking against you, you just confirm the people around you who can be used by devil Satan. Disconnect immediately. Like you disconnect the phone. Sometimes, you know, we need to re reinstall our phone. My mom called me. I don't know what happened to my WhatsApp. Do you believe she is in her real 80s using WhatsApp, communicating with people? And I say, and I also have some problem with Skype. I said, no one using Skype anymore. I said, Skype is all things. Say no, no, no! I need to connect him with Ukraine with some friends, and uh, and and this this the blue one that I uh, say VV Viper. Everything's not problem. Say, push the button, and restart. Oh, I forget! I need to restart. I say sometimes we need to restart. Amen. We sometimes need to disconnect from something, and after reconnect to something. Amen. Amen. Spiritual fruit. Is expression of what is happening in the person's spirit or heart and how it's manifest and to external actions. Are you with me? Words and attitudes. How we love and serve others. That's serious. Fruit of Bisur in Hebrew, evangelism. Fruit of evangelism. In John chapter 4, 35 to 36 says, we see the Savior Jesus say, do you not say there are yet four months that come? The harvest, question mark. Look, I tell you, lift up your eyes and see 
that the fields are white for harvest. Already, the one who reaps is received which of gathering food for eternal life, so that sower and reaper may rejoice together. Wow. Amen? Amen. This is show us that point of what? Evangelism. Save souls. Bring other people to light of Jesus. Amen. Point of evangelism. Or faithfulness to God's kingdom work. I hope you'll be faithful to God's kingdom work. Amen. Is this converting to Christianity? That some people say Christianity, some people, there are so many divisions in Christianity. And they ask me, are you are this denomination? Are you this denomination? I said, I don't know any denomination. I'm pure Jewish. I'm safe here in Jerusalem. In generally, on the way from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Going five in the morning with a car and going up to Jerusalem. You, know, you go up, always up. And I see the huge hand. And I said, maybe I'm overtired. And I hear the voice. Hol the mind, sand and water. And again the voice. Chaim or Mavid, life or dead. I was so afraid. And two weeks ago, I visited one small community, congregation, messianic congregation, the followers of Christ, only Jewish people. And I not understand anything what they do in there. But I was so refreshed by their love and welcome. I was in joy. I not understand anything what they singing. The Lamb of God and all kind of things. But I was so refreshed. But one brother, he started to really take care of me. You know what is the evangelism? Sometimes one-to-one. Discipling mentoring each other he started mentoring me be with me and say let's go we, we eat something and we go there and he ordered beer I say oh I was thinking these religious people they are different a little bit from the Jewish with smokers and drinking you know and, and we eat and he started to talk to me about his life about his destiny and he started mentoring me, calling me all the time, and, and praying for me, sending to me some verses. You know, what I want to say to you, brethren, evangelism, it's not only going to give some papers, papil. It's not. It's something more. You are take care of souls. That's be, to be our minister, to be the pastor, to be our carry of souls, you must to be protect them in good times and difficult times. Love them, pray for them, encourage them, and not criticize all the time. And the God say here to us, and pay attention, is this the one who reaps is receiving the wage and gathering the fruit of eternal life. Amen? We don't evangelize so that we will feel good about ourselves. I baptize 10 people. I bring 20 to Jesus. This meaning it's only for about yourself. We evangelize so that people will enter to the new life and fellowship with Savior and Redeemer, Messiah, Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen? We see also emptiness of fruitlessness. In Mark chapter 11, 12 to 14, in New Testament, we're reading today from Mark chapter 11, from 12 to 14, and from 19 to 25. 12. The next day, 
as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. 13. Seeing in distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves. And leaves is big always, you know? Leaves. Because it was not the season for things. 40. That he said to the tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. <laughs> and his disciples heard he said, You know what? Everything is spiritual. Jesus is a spiritual savior. Everything what he say to people be understanding the meaning of the parables, the secrets. Continue with Mark 11, 19 to 25. 19. When evening comes, Jesus and his disciples went out to the city. And 20. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree with hurt from the roots. 21. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, my teacher, look, the fig tree you are cursed has out complete from the ground with the trees. 22. Have faith in God. Jesus answered. 23. Truly, I tell you, if anyone say to his mountain, go through yourself and the sea, and do not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Wow. 24. Therefore, remember, therefore in Hebrew, wake up, be prepared. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Amen. And 25, the last one. And when you stand praying, there's not sitting like this and pray and lie down and you sleep. And you stand in prayer. If you hold anything against anyone, forgive them. So that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. Look what is here we have, brethren, in this piece of wood. What I read for you? Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgive each other just as Messiah, Savior Christ, God Almighty forgive you. Amen. Ephesians Amen. chapter 4, 32. Brethren, forgive. Amen. Forgive the people who damage you. Forgive the people who criticize you. Forgive the people. Keep distance from some of them. But forgive. It's taken me to 20 years to forgive my, my father. My physical father. 20 years. Until I release, he betrayed my mother and have the other child. Until I forgive, I release like something heaviness from my shoulder out. And I have breathe. I have new freshness. Forgive the people who damage you. Forgive some of them who is really done some terrible things. God expects you to produce the fruits. Amen. Why Jesus Christ come to this earth? To die? Why Jesus Christ die? To give us abundant life and overflow with more. What? Fruitfulness? That we know that to do with? Fruitful job, it's not only connected with money, fruitful farm, corpse, 
brethren, it's something more. That's why I encourage you, brethren, to understand it today more about fig trees. Now we go to the figs. The symbols of the figs in the world of the living. Fruit without frustration. Brethren, in like we read this, God expects you to produce the fruit. God give good gifts. God give good gifts when He give Israel to Jewish people. It was not just one old piece of land. God say in Deuteronomy chapter 8, old chapter you please read home, but they say, the Lord your God is bring you into the good land. It's not only a land with nothing. With good land. As land with wheat, barley, wines, fig trees, pomegranates, olive oil, and honey. There are seven spices of food mentioned here which will be abundant in the land of the living or I call that in the land of the promise to his people and it is the time leading up to Jewish holidays when many of them are ripe and ready to be eaten brethren we are in the preparation of the food soon in September we have the Feast of Tabernacle, the Feast of Sukkot. That's meaning the last harvest. Amen? The Feast of Shavuot, the Feast of Pentecost is the first harvest. Amen? And we give the best to God. And now we are soon coming. Few more weeks. We come slowly to tremendous new season of new year. Rosh Hashanah. The head of the year. Amen. And we'll be celebrating this with miracle. Amen? Amen. And we want to give in Feast of Tabernacle the best to God. Amen. The best, the fruit. Amen? And God is saying here to us, there is so much richness in what God has created and placed in this land of His people. Not just in their good taste and nutrition, but in the meaning too, brethren. And the fig is the fruit that crops up again and again in the scripture. Because God do not, does nothing without purpose. Amen? Amen? God is full of purpose. Amen. The blessing of the figs there is something just feel rich and decay, decayed about figs. Amazing deep colors and this as distinguished shape and glorious gentle smell. Some people don't like because they are small seeds. You know, but this is juicy. This give you what? Detoxication. Cleansing. And it's also so healthy, full of nutrition, brethren. It's not wonder that this future of God's creation crops up repeatedly in the Word of God, in the wonderful, symbolic, miraculous ways. First of all, we see the figs in the Garden of Eden covering up shame of Adam. And Eve, you know the leaves is so big, <laughs> they don't know what to do. Because after they are seen, God said, don't touch this, don't touch this tree. You know, you remember like I always say, the Eve, Chava say, I not say that, I not eat, it's Satan. The Lucifer, and Lucifer, I not eat, I only say, you only eat what you want to eat. And you see, everyone blame each other. Adam says, sorry, I obey. I listen to my wife. But where is God saying? You were so blessed 
before and now you under curse and now in that moment he he full of shame guilt and he recognized he is naked in that time he not recognize he's born like this walk like this like the animals you know when they come in they don't know the, have the the feathers the god give them to some animals feathers some of them not have like horse a very thin one what I want to say, brethren, they feel shame and they want to take the leaves from the fig tree because it's big. And they create some covers. That's what we see. In fact, it's only three specify that we know for sure what is in the garden. Through the scripture, the plant becomes a symbol of prosperity well-being and security interesting huh along with the wine to sit under plentiful shade of your own fig tree is the option of safety peace protection in many biblical passages these plants do not grow overnight and they take time to culture and nurture nurture them their maturity indicate that a gardener has been continuously as steadfastly there tending to their grow over the years for israel exile and wandering has been by word for punishment so the sitting under your own wine and fig tree is sign of blessing and security we see it also in book of Hosea, chapter 9, verse 10, in Old Testament. Hosea, chapter 9, 10 says, When I found Israel, it was like finding the grapes in the desert. When I saw your ancestors, it was like seeing the early fruit on the fig tree. The fig tree is also a symbol of Israel itself is often symbolized the health of the nation both spiritually and physically are you with me now later we see in the book of first Kings in the Old Testament chapter 425 the Bible tells us the glorious time when Judah, remember Judah in Hebrew, prays. Like you say, oh, who Jew? Sometimes you're a bad boy. I don't talk about Judah Iscariot. I talk about Judah, Yehuda. That's mean from, we call ourselves Yehudi. Now, we are Jewish. But officially, maybe my parents, they're from our mother's side, they are Levi, Levites. That's meaning maybe we are my my background we are from the land of judah judah is the place of jerusalem in judean mountains in judean desert you know go to the dead sea is judea and going to tel aviv area is judean mountains that's meaning judah represent worship the praise play praise is also the territory not belong to any tribe is a holy territory. Tribe of God, Zebulun, Benjamin, and all the Issachar, they only allowed all the 12 tribes to come to Judah to pray in the feast. Like the feast of Passover, and the feast of Shavuot, the Pentecost, and the feast of Sukkot, the Tabernacle. Three, we call this Shloshat HaRegalim, Three, regel is mean the feet. Shloshai means shalosh, the three. This meaning three pilgrimage up to Jerusalem. This meaning you must walk. You're not only driving and come with horse or camel. You are walking to Jerusalem three times per year from other tribes. 
That's why Jewish people from America, from Canada, from European countries, from Russia, from Lithuania, Estonia, all other Jewish people who scatter all around the world, they are coming for this three important pilgrimage to Jerusalem. They're collecting money. You know, they already, if they come back home after Feast of Tabernacle, they already collecting the money for the ticket to come to celebrate in Zion, in Jerusalem, the feast, to receive the blessing and bring this blessing back to the family, to the neighbors, to the relatives. In the old time, every type, every tribe sending one holy man. And he bring the all the prayer request, the all this, uh, the burdens of people, of some reports of diseases and sicknesses to the temple of Jerusalem. You know, when we're living in Jerusalem, sometimes we don't pay attention for this. Me living, Sister Lani living, Sister Rachel, sis, and, and some of you who are living in Pastor Ariza, we're living in Jerusalem. We are sometimes, uh, it's like routine. Day by day, we are busy. Now, every morning, and you know, I'm walking around Jerusalem with my feet, I proclaim the blessing. Because the faith is representing the, uh, its importance. When you walk, you pray. You, inter you bring intercession. You, you are praying for something. Sometimes this morning, uh, is God said to me early morning, go to the Western world to pray. Three times I hear and I not obey. You know, and I said to Pastor Vera the afternoon, 10 o'clock, well, whole morning, I say, I feel to go into the, I say, ah, maybe today I want to rest, Shabbat. You know, they are Jewish people, they walk sometimes 10 kilometers to go to the Western world to pray. And I always doing this, today, specifically today, Saturday, I say, oh, I want to rest, to be uh, quiet. Every day I walk 8, 10 kilometers, you know, <laughs> I want to rest today. But sometimes we need to really obey you know, and, and tomorrow early morning I'll be going to pray to the Western world to bring all your prayer requests. Specific, some of you maybe don't know, some, some people passing through, like Sister Elsa, passing through with difficulties with her work. Yeah, Sister Elsa. And, and it's a hardship in the problem. Sister Rachel struggling with her job. Some of you have some, some difficulties in, the, in some situations with that. And I need to take care of this. How I be care without Jesus? It's nothing. Emotions only. But to carry the prayer request to bring to Jesus. You give to me, I give to the Abba Father. And this is the, the circulation. This is the, the way how we are really uh, connecting to the Boreolam, creator of the universe. Through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? And I see here in, in the first Kings chapter 425, when Judah and Israel live in safety, every man under his wine and his fig trees, from Dan, tried even to the Beersheba, all days of days of Solomon. I see here in this wine and the fig trees. Every man and every woman under his wine. Wine is a represent, you know, the branches of the wine. Shadow giving to you, protection. And fig trees, provision to give in to you. Prosperity, safety, you know. Amen. We see the latest still. For the mineral prophets, we can see warnings of the nation. In John chapter 1, 48 to 50. Yeah, we see the, you can see warnings to the nation of how God will bring destruction and failure of crops as part of his judgment against them. Spe specifically, empty fig tree that we striped were and bare and, and fruitless. We see the Joel and Habakkuk and Haggai it's almost as if fig was something of the 
barometer of the health of the nation take away as punishment and flourishing in the times of restoration. In the New Testament, you please read home in the first jo in John chapter 1, 48 to 50. We also see in this in this uh, in this chapter, we see the Savior Yeshua, Jesus, use symbolic fig tree. Firstly, in calling of Nathanael, Nathanael is meaning God is giving, the prophet, who was sitting under the fig tree like true Israelites. Sitting under fig tree, shadow, good, good fruit, giving to you satisfaction, protection, blessing, yeah? You also see in later, he cursed the fruitless fig tree, representing unfruitfulness. Like we read in Mark 11 before. Figs flourishing in Israel in these days. In the Bible time and until now. Israel is full of fig trees. Huge, well developed, colorful and mature. Everywhere you go in now is the fig trees blooming. They produce two harvests of fruit and a year. Two times. You don't know this? Two times of harvest. The kirby crops around the Passover time and the spring, even before the leaves have unfurled and biggest, best, most juicy fruit come into the own in September. That's meaning now we're starting the fig figs. It's coming in September, the best and we see the pomegranates. God say, I want to bless you like the seeds of pomegranates. Pastor Verit, how many seeds in pomegranates? Uh, they have number. Every pomegranate, every granata, we call this, you know, the pomegranate, have the same number of seeds. You don't know this? 360. 360. 360. 360. The whole year. Oh, uh, the whole year. But this, you know what? Next time, brethren, I bring the one. And we start to open and one by one yeah. counting. I will bring five of them and I want everyone counting five of them. You know? <laughs> Do you understand how what God wants to bless you with this fruitfulness? Amen. God say, I bless you like the seeds Amen. of the of the pomegranate. Amen. Amen. You be fruitful, juicy, blessed, happy. They don't talk about fig tree, fig tree, in fig plant. Wait, wait, wait. They have thousands of small seeds. You know? God say He wants to bring blessing to us. It's possible to consider the flourish of figs today in Israel. It's a messianic sign of God. Messianic means we are called ourselves messianic, the followers of Jesus. Jewish people, we are called of Call, call ourselves we are Meshichim the followers of Messiah from the word Mashiach Messiah from the word Shach this means anointed one this means we are the followers of anointed one and I know you also followers of anointed one who is Amen. anointed one? only Jesus Amen. no one the anointed one more we only have some some goosebumps some presence what God is giving to us. Some of you have the dreams interpretations. Some of you have prophetic interpretations. Some of you have the tremendous gift to see things very clear. You know, some of you have. You must cultivate your gifts. Amen? Amen. You must be fruitful. Amen? Amen. I don't wonder if God said, this is this, this my child, my daughter, my son, not give any fruit. It's meaning you are not become to New Jerusalem. You know, it's a hard, brethren. He gave us the second chance. We still have the physical Jerusalem and we are going where? To New Jerusalem. God preparing what you have, little bit jewelry, and some, He's preparing something great and mighty there. More blessed you be are. 
Amen. And God said here to us, today is in Israel as a messianic sign. It's itself the people are back in the land. The more Jewish people come from Canada, from America, from comfort zone, they have not comfort anymore. The calamities there. Terrible situation what's going on right now all around the world. God shaking the Jewish people back home. Back home, my people. Aliyah. Aliyah meaning la alot. Up to Jerusalem. Yeah? And God is saying here to us, people are back in the land. Fig trees are abundant and plentiful. And the nation is now waiting for restoration to come. Nation coming for restoration. Maybe you see, ah, look at this, what happened in the, in the government. Look what happened in the situation and the lockdowns and pandemic and all the things. Look what God is on the way to restore this nation. Amen. It's still a little bit more time to the nation for salvation. But here is coming revival. Amen. Thousands after thousands come to Jesus. You will see soon. It's a big revolution of gospel of glory coming. Amen. It's saying in the Bible, book of Revelation. Amen. It's said in so clear in the New Testament. It's coming of amazing transformation. In saying Hebrew, shikum. Shikum is also meaning to lishakem uh, is meaning to rehabilitate. This meaning it's coming rehabilitation to Israel and everyone who is in this land. This meaning you are blessed to be in this land. Amen. And some people dreaming to one day to put their feet in the holy land. The one brother saying, I coming, I be kiss this land. And uh, we're living here and we are day by day walking and not understanding this is not only historical land. Every corner. This is uh, something significant, biblical. This happened in the past. Restoration coming. Amen? Amen. We know that the restoration will be spiritual, breakthrough, revival. Amen? Amen? And all His people greeting the Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, saying, Blessed is He, will come in the name of the Lord. Amen. Baruch Abba B'Shem Adonai. Amen. Or welcome Yeshua, our Messiah. Come Lord Jesus and find us ready. Amen. Amen. Come Lord and find me ready. Come Adonai Elohim, Lord God, and come and see we are ready. We are not sleep. God say, I come like thief in the night. Amen. And I find you sleep, tired, pagod, and always like this, tired. God say, I want to find you to be wake up. Amen. To be put the worship in the house. To be meditating the word of God. To be full of the spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Brethren, raise up and we pray together. So this week, God will really refresh our spirit in supernatural, miraculous way. Amen. That's meaning we want to save more souls. Amen. Save more souls. Yeah. This is very important, brethren. We want to save more souls. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment. You are speak to us with this word of the living. We want to be fruitful. We want to be blessed. We want to bring more people to you. And we want to be ready for your return. We want to be prepared, equipped for the great end time harvest. Bless us. Protect us. No sicknesses, no diseases, no evil symptoms not come upon us and upon our families. We are covered by your blood. Be covered by your blood, Savior and Redeemer, Yeshua, the Messiah. The Lord bless you and keep you. 
The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you everlasting peace. Ivarechecha Adonai veishmerecha. Yaer Adonai panavelecha veichunecha. Isa Adonai panavelecha veichunecha veyasim lecha. Shalom. Bemashiach Yeshua Adoneinu. HaKadosh. The Lord bless you miraculously because He is in control. No matter what situation you pass you through, you are covered by His precious holy blood. The blood have the power. The blood of Savior Jesus Christ paid the price on Golgotha and Via Dolorosa. So you are be safe abundantly in Jesus Christ's name. Yes and amen. Be blessed, brethren, and be courageous in this day.